Hello everybody, it is me Nolsey and I am back once again for another video. Yes indeed, I am back to do a review on a figure again. If you remember back a few videos ago, I did a review on my very first DC figure on my channel. That was a review of the new Batman Adventures Batman. I also have a second one which I mentioned in a previous unboxing video and, and that is the review today. So, without further ado, my friends, I will be reviewing today Batman the Animated Series Joker. Stay tuned, my friends. I gotta get a secret to tell before my head explodes. Yes, as you can see, he's still in all in his box and packaging. Very similar to the past packaging, nothing different. Uh, it comes with obviously it comes with some accessories like the bat like the previous figure I reviewed did. Yeah, very standard. I'm not really gonna go into the box. Okay, so now we have the box open. So now let's have a look and see what he actually comes with. Um just like the previous review from me. He comes with a stand or pedestal. Uh, only the difference is, obviously, it's engraved with the Joker. He also comes with interchangeable, interchangeable hands as well, so he can change them, uh, so that he can clutch some of his accessories. He also comes with some strange icons. He comes with this like, like bit of jewelry, but. This is something that just slips over his head, like um, looks like a, like a pearl necklace or something like that. He also comes with this weird thing. It kind of fell out the box as I was opening it, like a, a transparent helmet that he could wear. He also comes with this as well. I've no idea what it is. Um, like a like a yellow thing where he can hold it. It could possibly be a knife, like a little knife or a dagger or maybe some sort of pointer or poker or something. I'm not sure what that could be. But it comes with that as well. And then it comes with a couple of things that uh, just in there, as you can see, that is like you could like clutch. But yeah, so it comes with those bits and obviously the figure himself, the Joker himself. As you can see, he is absolutely stunning absolutely stunning indeed he is like showing off a little bit more bluer because obviously it's, it's to the color of the computer screen as well but it's like um it's like a like like a violet like um maybe like a violet color like um uh, I, I don't know what you could really call this color of his suit um but it's very nice he's got this pink flower there he's got the yellow underneath the the jacket and his famous weird bow tie type thing he's got lovely face paint he's got his lovely white ghostly pale white face paint with his red lipstick and he's got that awesome awesome like grin as well he's also got a bit of a tinge of green in his hair like a highlight if you can maybe see that maybe not but really nice. Um, he's got a hell of a lot of articulation. He can, his legs can move out like that. But really, kind of it. I don't know why you want that. But yeah, it's also got good knee, uh, really stiff knee movement. Um, but yeah, you do get good knee movement. Um, you get three sixty swivel and a good ball joint on the feet. Well, you get a good swivel there. You don't get oh well, yeah, you do. You get three sixty. You get a bit of give in the uh, in the waist as well. You also got elbow movement. You've got movement in the uh, in the hands because obviously they are again interchangeable. And you've got a real good like up, down, left, right in a really good movement of the head as well. Like I say as well, it does come with the pedestal. And maybe I didn't show you this. It does come with the claw arm as well, you know, so you can actually stand it up as a display piece. It was just just like the Batman figure did. 
but this is just absolutely stunning it is just beautifully um just beautifully detailed it's so show accurate it's absolutely unbelievable um i just absolutely love this figure it is gorgeous I really do recommend these figures to people. Anyone that's a DC fan or remembers these, you know, this cartoon series, um, I really do recommend people maybe picking them up because they are worth it. They're a good adult collected piece. I say that because there's a hell of a lot of small pieces and it's not good for young children. But I absolutely love him. He is awesome about the packaging. But yeah, I can't really say much more about him. He's got great movability. He's got a great great amount of articulation and playability um, I love that these guys actually do come with a display platform even if it's quite basic it still comes with one because a lot of figures like this do not come included with one of those like little stands and not all the time sometimes you've got to actually buy them separately for a lot of these like type of figures but it's really nice that you get them as, as a as in, you know, included in the box and it's great because these things once I get them all I'm, I am planning on definitely buying any, um, more of these um, I think these will look awesome on my shelf or wherever I decide to put them so yes the last little look at him very, I just absolutely love his face sculpt that is just awesome and the back Yeah, so that is Batman the Animated Series Joker. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more videos very, very soon. And uh, please be patient with me, because obviously that was the second and last uh, figure I have from either of those Pacific lines. I will be trying to put patch it. Uh, well, I will be trying to get more of them in the next coming weeks. Uh, but yeah, keep your eyes and ears open to my channel because I will be making frequent videos letting you know any more unboxings and things like that to let you know if I've got anything new to show you. And thank you very much. So peace. Bye bye. Rock on. Stay classy people.